Yes, sir. It's another Friday right here on Podcast and Chill with Meg G. And you know what time that is? It's time for another episode of Black Friday. It's a part of the show where we make your business our business. And I'm actually rather... I'm looking forward to this interview. Not that I don't look forward to other interviews. I'm looking forward to this one specifically because it has to do with something that over the past couple of years, maybe five, maybe ten, it has become a thing. It's not taboo anymore. And a whole lot more people are starting to to wear this thing proudly. Of course, I'm talking about tattoos. And uh, I'm privileged and honored to be sitting next to a tattoo artist who goes by the name of K, the Ink Man. Cat. Cat. Nice to meet you, Len. Cool. Um, Cat, the Ink Man. Why tattoos? Um, tattoos. Um, well, how I got into tattoos, let me start with that and I'll, I'll move on. And yeah. then, well, my brother got a tattoo kit from a pawn shop and then I just started messing around with it. And then I tattooed a few tattoos on him. Uh, my friends, they knew the skill level. So it was just small tats, just practicing. And I started falling in love with the art. And um, when I moved to Joburg, it was for school reasons. Yeah. And then eventually I dropped out on my third year uh, because uh, I was more passionate about tattooing, you know. So, yeah, that's how it all started, basically. It's, 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 it's very intriguing that... Um, actually, before I go there, I see you've got... A lot of ink. Did you ink yourself or did you go to somebody else to ink you? Because most doctors don't heal themselves. They go elsewhere to another doctor type of thing. <laughs> um, with you, it's, it's a different story. Uh, most of them I got from my friends and the people I know. Yeah. But some of them I did them myself. Um, where I can mostly reach, like my legs. I just put the leg there and tattoo it. And my left arm, I'm a right-handed. So, yeah, I tattoo my left hand sometimes. Interesting. Yeah. So, in, in, in the space of tattoos, like I was mentioning earlier on, at some point, uh, tattoos were like taboo and people would associate them with all sorts of evil and everything else. Yeah. But they seem to have come to prominence. They're on the rise. Everybody that you see yeah. has a tattoo. Why do you think that's the case? Um, I think people are starting to see it more as like a form of expression, you know, through art. Um, it's no more taboo. Because, you know, it, it, it's, it's just art. Another form of art where people can just express themselves, their, their ideas, the stories they've been through through life, and just put them on their bodies. And, yeah. What are some of the most weirdest places you've tattooed people? Because I, 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 I've got one myself. It's on my arm, on my right arm. And I generally just went for the arm because it felt like the safest and less painful place to go to um but what are some of the most weirdest places that you've tattooed um for me personally (laughs) the most difficult place i've ever tattooed was the butt cheek yeah um it's it's a very soft tissue so it's pretty difficult to navigate around it but when you know your thing you know you, you get it done without any problems but yeah it's one of the trickiest places so if we had to do a tattoo 101 uh, or in the ABC of tattoos, I'm looking to get a tattoo. What are the processes that from the mind thinking about it to eventually getting the tattoo? What are the things that I have to be on the lookout for or what are the things that I have to check for, look for, contact you obviously and to getting to bringing myself? All right, so from your side as a client, um, you just have to know the idea that you're getting. Um, maybe like reference images. I always encourage my clients to like check out Pinterest. Yeah. That's where you get like the most dope tattoo ideas. They just send them to me and then maybe we talk about it. Placement, if the design is good, maybe I do a sketch. Yeah. And then finally we lay it on the skin. Yeah. And I know I spoke about or I asked you about the weirdest place you have tattooed. What is the weirdest tattoo you've ever inked on anyone? <sighs> weirdest tattoo? Damn. Um, I think for me, the tattoos that make me really uncomfortable as a tattoo artist is when like partners get like the face of their partner. Their partner. And 
a few months down the line they break up you know so <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah the craziest thing yeah and on that uh do you also do cover-ups in in the event that i decide next week like ah we are done but i'm stuck with this person's face on my arm yeah um i also do cover-ups um but mostly i don't specialize in cover-ups yes. there are artists who specialize in cover-ups i mostly cover up small tattoos yeah. maybe like names you got a name of your spouse you yeah. broke up i can cover that but there are like ta- huge tattoos that you know i just can't cover up because there's just a lot that has happened there already <laughs> <laughs> true true story i'm gonna i'm gonna get to something uh now before i get to that because there's there's a difference in what you do versus what a lot of people do. But before I get there, uh, just looking at, obviously, weird places and weird designs, the biggest one that you have done? The biggest tattoo um, was a 10-hour session. It was a thigh tattoo. It was really big. Um, it was on a girl. Yeah. Um, yeah. We did that for 10 hours, but with ten. breaks, of oh, course. Oh, I was going to ask, was it 10 hours, yeah. like, one go, or was it broken down into... Yeah, with breaks in between. Okay, cool. Now, unlike most tattoo artists, you mobile. Tell me True. a bit more about that. Um, okay, with me, um, usually like I'd go to a client's house and do the tattoo there. Yeah. Which is why the name of my company is Ink on Core Tattoos. Yeah. So it's it's more convenient. Um, most clients find it more convenient. They just hit me up. I'm there. And we do the tattoo. Um, yeah. So in terms of your mobility, uh, if I'm in Cape Town, I can give you a call. You can come through. If I'm in Durban, you can give. I can definitely. Give you, so you you cover all corners of the country. All corners. Yeah. Oh no, that's pretty dope. You know, we're speaking about weird tattoos. Um, I'm gonna put two challenges to you. Uh, one, if we had to get a chiller. Who wanted a podcast and chill with Meg G tattoo? Do you think you can pull that one off? Uh, definitely. Definitely. Okay. Shouldn't okay. be a problem. Okay, cool. No, we'll give you a call and then you'll come and then we'll get the chiller to come and then we'll do the damn thing. So, chillers out there, if you're interested in getting a podcast and chill with Meg G tattoo, hit us up on the comments. Uh, let us know. And yeah, who knows? You could be getting inked by Mr. Cat here, Mr. Inkman himself. And uh, he will hit you up with a podcast and chill tattoo. The other challenge that I wanted to do is if I gave you a design and I asked you to come to one of the podcast and chill episodes that we record, would you be able to execute that tattoo on me in the time that we record an episode, which is usually about an hour, 30 minutes? Um, that largely depends on how big the tattoo is and yeah, how long it would take. Okay, so roughly an hour, 30 minutes, how big should the tat be? Um, definitely medium-sized. Yeah, we, okay. can, we can kill that in an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is I'll send you a couple of designs. We'll come to an agreement with the designs and then we're going to hit that. I like that. All right, cool stuff. Cat, the ink man. Anybody wants to get hold of you, anybody wants to give you a shout, uh, don't forget he does travel. So he can come and do a tattoo, whichever design you want. He can come do it on you, in the comfort of your own place, probably at the office if you want. And uh, you do piercings as well, yeah? Yes. Uh, those you do on location as well or you also do house calls. So if you want a piercing, if you want a tat, uh, how do people get hold of you? Um, I'm on Instagram as ink on call tattoos underscore. It's ink on call underscore tattoos on Instagram. Facebook ink on call tattoos. Um, the phone number is zero eight one eight two four seven eight one three. All right, you heard it. Ink on call across all the different social media platforms. You got his number as well. Cat the ink man. Thank you very much. And uh, don't forget, uh, he has agreed to tattoo a podcast and chill tattoo on a chiller. And if you want to be that lucky person to actually get to score that, it's simple. Just hit us up on the comments and uh, Cat, the Ink Man, will definitely uh, do that for us. Cat, it has been very refreshing speaking to you. I will be sending you those designs and we will be Please inviting you to an episode of Podcast and Chill to actually hook up a tattoo 
live while we record. Right here. All right, cool stuff. Thank you very much. Well, that was Cat, the Ink Man. You got his details. I'm Len Muleko. And like I said at the beginning of the show, if you want to be a part of Black Friday, it's simple. Just drop us an email. The address is podcast at thisismegg.com. And you too could be sitting right here and telling us exactly what you do because we want to make your business our business. On that note, I will see you on the next episode of Podcast and Chill with Nick G, the Black Friday edition.